Well, hey, hey, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Lodging. I'm your host, Neil Johnson, excited to be with you and share the news with you. I am going to share with you some massively great news, some phenomenal numbers. I mean, I mean, you don't have to go look too far. I mean, when you find out that half of Biden's Twitter followers are fake accounts and bots, you know, Musk is bringing everything to the surface there. But I'm going to show you some numbers. I'm going to show you just how bad it is and how big of a panic the Democrat Party is in right now. It's absolutely cataclysmic on a number of faces. Things that happen in New York, things that are happening all over, things that are happening with Hispanics. I'm going to get into this, folks. It's probably about 10 minutes, but you are going to feel so uplifted after watching this because you're looking at the country falling apart around you and you're wondering, will this be fixed? I am telling you it is, and I will explain why. But real quickly, go to MyPillow.com. That's right, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack. You save up to 66 smashing percent on the products you love for a good night's sleep. MyPillow.com. I'm telling you, stuff is awesome. Seriously, get those Giza sheets. Change your life. The slippers are 90 bucks off. Deals, deals, deals at MyPillow.com. All right. Check this out. Internal polling is the gold standard, all right? Internal polling. DNC polling right now shows that Republicans are leading Democrats nationally 47 to 39%. Folks, that's unprecedented. Okay, that is the internal DNC polling. That's an eight point. It just doesn't happen. Republicans have never seen this. Now, it gets even more uh, crazy because I'm going to pull from town hall here really quick. Well, first, let me give you this one too. Biden's Hispanic approval ratings are plummeting to 26% in the new poll. Last year, it was 55%. From 55% to 26% amongst Hispanics. See, they felt that demographics was destiny and their plan is to, you know, replace voters and let all these people in across the border. And they're turning against them. And actually, all those southern counties along the border where a lot of Hispanics live are seeing the problems with illegal immigration. And they are going flat out against it. And this, I'm telling you people, oh, there's so many, so many ways I can go with this. But let me run into this. Town hall. Dems in disarray. Internal polling looks devastating. Political junkies' attention has been focused on the latest batch of primary election results this week. But just beneath the surface, huge and damaging fissures appear to be opening up among embattled House Democrats. For months, the conventional wisdom has held that 2022 is going to be a bad election cycle, right? We've all known that. For the ruling party, that's typically how it goes. And that the Republicans were virtually guaranteed to win a majority in at least the lower chamber of Congress in November. The big question is, how bad will it be for the Dems? (laughs) <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> it seems as though quite a few Democrats are waking up to the reality that the likeliest answer at this stage is very bad. The precriminations are spilling out into the open. You can always tell how bad it's going to be because losing teams always attack and blame people on the team. You can see this. It happens in sports. It happens everywhere. It's called precriminations. The entity in charge of protecting the House majority is the D. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, or DCCC, right? Just like we have, you know, the RNCC or the RCCC, okay? Um, Its chairman is having a very bad week. Let's flash back to the New York Supreme Court. I don't know if you guys remember I reported on that, but it was comprised entirely of Democrat appointees. They threw out the state Democrats' ludicrously gerrymandered and clearly illegal redistricting map a few weeks ago. The map was so bad that Democrat appointees threw out the map that Democrats created. Are you with me? Okay. The newly unveiled would-be Empire State map, which was drawn independently as required by a state constitutional amendment that Democrats successfully pushed for, then tried to abandon for purposes of political expediency and power, is looking... Less auspicious for their prospects, electoral prospects. To put it mildly, Dave Wasserman reported, The New York map proposed by court-appointed special master Jonathan Servas leans into competitiveness. As opposed, the Democrats struck a map that was 22D4R gerrymander. This map is more like 15D and 5R and six highly competitive seats, at least for 2022. Okay. So Nicholas Fandos tweeted, Sean Patrick Maloney warned Dems in a private meeting this month that a ruling to invalidate New York's D-leaning Kong map, congressional map, would prompt an extinction-level event per people familiar. This week, it came to pass, and the DCC chair is in the thick of it. 
which recenters discussion on DCC Chairman Rep. Sean Patrick Maloney, okay, who was declare who has declared he intends to run in a heavily Democratic district rather than a somewhat competitive one. This tells you everything you need to know about what he thinks November is looking like, one GOP analyst said. No kidding. Maloney's job is to lead the entire party to victory. He's now in full-blown self-preservation mode. He, I mean, this is amazing. Now, so then they're they're freaking out. Another Democrat who's running is like, oh, he didn't even tell me. And okay, it's just going on and on. Okay. They are in meltdown mode, people. Here, I'm going to give you some other data. Okay. I'm going to go to President presidential approval polling. So I'm going to go to the far left NPR PBS Marist poll, which is so bad that in their congressional map, they still have congressional Democrats holding a five or six point lead. I kid you not. When every other poll has Republicans winning. But I'm going to go to their poll to give you their most optimistic number on the Democrat side. And Joe Biden polls at 40% approval. Disapprove of 56. So let's go to some more realistic polls. Quinnipiac, still not great, but approving 38, 55. So we got a 17 point spread, okay? But uh, you can go to uh, um, a number of, uh, you know, I, I don't have the, um, uh, the one up here, but in 32, uh, I've got another one at uh, 42. That's Reuters. Again, they lean left. You know, and so on. You can go into the sampling of these and you'll see that they consistently lean left. But basically, what this tells me, hands down, is Biden's approval rating is in the low 30s. Real numbers. This is going to be a wipeout like you've never seen people be. And here's why. I mean, you can go on about how, you know, the, the Republican primary had so many more voters in it and all this kind of stuff. I get that, man. I mean, we are much more engaged than Democrats. But even after their whole Roe v. Wade leak to try and energize the base and all that, they have no energy. They have none, okay? And it's not going to matter. They, they're not going to be able to manufacture it through their leaks. They're not going to be able to manufacture it because people are concerned about their pocketbooks. Inflation. These types of things. But Democrats are leaving the Democrat Party because the Democrat is going so far off to the left, people, that they're just bypassing their base. They really are at this point. I mean, I know you see the, the far out whack jobs and they're marching around and they're acting like complete Looney Tunes and all of that. And you think that's all the Democrat Party? No, there's still a lot of people, especially uh, people more in the middle age to older Democrat group, who are still like John F. Kennedy Democrats, or uh, you know they're part of that uh, blue working class, uh, blue collar working class base. Um, people, I mean, we did not see the last blue dog Democrat eliminated until last year, and now that is a solid Republican district. So we're seeing this shift, and it's taking place in rural America in droves. And the brainwashed masses in the cities are even waking up to this, and especially in the suburbs, okay? So I just want to give you hope, people. It's, it's not going... I mean, look, if Joe Biden has 81 million... Uh, was it 81 million Twitter followers? No, 22.2, I'm sorry. He should have 81 million. Anyways, he's got 22.2 million Twitter followers. Uh, you know, and half of them are bogus. It just further shows you how bad it is for him right now. I mean, the Hispanics are leaving. They can't win on anything right now because the country is seeing it. They're seeing the porous open border. They're seeing the fentanyl problems, the crime, the drugs, everything. People, it's going to change. They can only do so much. I, I mean, 60-40 races, 20-point spreads. Can't recover that one. Okay. Anyways, I love you all. Please go check out mypillow.com, promo code lumberjack, and lumberjacklogicshow.com to get yourself some of the great conservative merchandise. There's some great stuff over there. I love you all. Peace out.